the imperative for everyone three points on opening day well Peter both of these teams will take to the pitch with a three-point focus ambition is fresh and strong and each will want to go deep into the competition so neither will be looking to come out of this with a, a flawed game plan this has to be assured and close to their best No doubt, looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them, and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. We are in the port city of Porto, and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao. Blue, certainly the colour. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yeah, and it's obvious, Peter, you don't want to be playing catch-up after the opening group game. So we can expect this to be highly competitive. Three points here and the feel-good factor of eventual progression kicks in. It's a, a great foundation to tackle the rest of the, uh, the group games. Goes for goal! And that's caused the worry or two. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Chance to hit one! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. It's been a bright start from the underdogs. Certainly got the supporters going. They're taking the game to their opposition, Peter. I'll be impressed if they manage this for 45 minutes, let alone for the full 90. Chance to play it in. <laughs> Messi. It's the through ball. Gets the better of his man. Big chance, big chance! Argentina! That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Quick ball forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Acuna sends it forward. 
Now the counter. Floats one over. And the shot! Oh, another save. Oh, that's a stunning save. I mean, his reflexes were incredible then. That's as good a save as you'll see. And it's played forward. Could try cutting inside here. Plenty waiting in the middle. A really good feat from him. Gets good distance on it. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Hoists it forward. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Paredes. Paredes plays it forward. Tried to play it through. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Played into space out wide. Gets up to hit it! And yes, it's there! With half time at hand! Perfect timing! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. That has certainly made things interesting. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Forward it goes. Counter attack chance for Saudi Arabia. Well played, he saw that coming. We've reached half time. What it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. That's a really interesting. Saudi Arabia get the ball rolling in the second half. It's being played forward. He's managed to get himself offside. Gets it upfield. Nicely measured pass. Gets into some space. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. And that's been leave it clear. Argentina have a free kick. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture.
Messi! Oh, brilliant! The captain has surely won it! Well, I know there's plenty of time left in this second half yet, but that's a goal which deserves to win this match. And now that the skipper has delivered such a beauty, the whole team will have a confidence thrust. Oh, that is a bit special. Argentina go into the lead. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Could cross it here. Oh, he's got that completely wrong. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. It into the area and he's there to clear it is there any support he might real chance <laughs> has he found his man well positioned to make that interception He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Tries to get it forward quickly. Otamendi does well there. Alert. Hoists it forward. And he just whacks it away. Tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. And here's Messi. Martinez! Back of the net! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There is no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Argentina take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. That has the feeling of a breath of fresh air, Peter, and now they can fill their lungs and, and just blow them away. He's had that put on a plate. Oh, they can break here. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock-solid. Forward pass. He's got options out wide. Header! Oh, he's managed to miss it. 
and he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Nice touch. Gets it into the middle. And he's cut it out. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. We played it short. Over to the left. Tries to get it clear. He's had a shot! And the ball's come out. Oh, that is asking for trouble. And a shot! It's been taken short, and that's out of reach. And it's played forward. And it's hoisted clear. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Tries to get it forward quickly. Balls out on the left now. Lovely bit of skill there. With a delicate ball. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. Your final thoughts, Jim? Listen, ideally...